Welcome back to the channel Restless Theory. I am Theory Nagpal, third year medical student in UPHSD Manila. Now today we are going to talk about an exam that will alter the life of medicos, be it from India or Indians studying abroad. The name of that exam is the Mighty Next. Why I call it Mighty, you'll surely know by the end of this video. Now, when will this exam happen? What is the pattern of the exam? How is it different from the FMG exam that the students were giving earlier? Is it tougher than FMG? Today we'll address all these questions and more in this video. In the end, I'm going to give my honest opinion on the exam. It will be a bitter pill to swallow. So if you can digest honesty, stay till the end. Only if you can digest honesty. Let's get started. So earlier, there was no particular exam in India for Indian students to get a license, which means that once they were done with their medical education, they were directly given a license. On the other hand, Indian students that studied abroad, they had to give FMGE exam in order to get a license to practice in India. With the coming of next, everybody stands on an equal ground, which means both the Indian students and the students who have studied abroad will have to appear this exam in order to get a license to practice medicine in India. This exam will more or less start from 2023, which means that the December attempt of 2022 of FMGE will most probably be the last FMGE exam that will happen and it will be replaced by next from next year. You all might have this question in your mind. What exactly is NEXT? And what will be the pattern of the exam? So NEXT is the national exit test. So NEXT or national exit test will take place as two exams, which is NEXT 1 and NEXT 2. Students will have to give NEXT 1 before starting the clerkship in hospitals, which means that now once they are done with NEXT 1, they can start their clerkship and next two will be given after the clerkship is done and will also be used as the parameter for postgraduate admissions in India. So yes, it will replace the NEET PG exam. So next is basically replacing two exams. First is the FMGE exam and second is the NEET PG exam. So now we talk about the coverage of the exam. Let's compare it with the previous FMGE exam. Now in the previous FMG exam, the number of clinical questions were not that much. It was more on a recall based exam. Whereas this exam, which is next, it will be 90% clinical based exam. Yes, you heard it right. It will only be 10% recall exam. Let's digest that first, because if the exam is 90% clinical, you yourself know it is going to be tough. What does it mean when I say it will be a 90% clinical based exam? Basically, now the questions will be correlated, which is if you are getting a question, it will not just be from one subject. There will be correlations from many different subjects in one single question. So yes, now you don't have to study subject wise, rather you have to study system wise. If you're studying a topic in medicine, you have to correlate all its parameters, be it pathology, be it pharmacology, be it medicine, be it surgery, you have to correlate them. Now you might ask what about other subjects like ENT, Optha and Obstetrics? Yes, they will be correlated too, but there will be standalone questions from them. So you have to give individual time to them. So when exactly should you start preparing for this exam? Now, there is exactly no right time, to be honest, because if I say that you should start in first year, exam is happening next year. So the fourth year student cannot go back in time and start preparing. Right time to start preparing for this exam is now. If you are in first year, start preparing. If you are in second, start preparing. If you are in third, start preparing. The same order goes for all. And that is because it will be a clinical based exam. So all your concepts should be integrated. And that is only possible if you are thoroughly studying from the beginning. So all you have to do is leave the system of studying subject wise and start studying system wise, because that will really help you with your preparations. 
so we have reached that stage of this video where i give my honest opinions on this exam well i'm happy there are two perspectives by which i'm looking at this exam and the first perspective is that now everybody will be giving an exam earlier only the foreign graduates were giving an exam now the indians who are studying in india will also give an exams to get a license so it removes that disparity that we were facing as foreign graduates on the other hand trust me fmge exam would have been much easier as compared to this exam as in next the majority of questions are going to be clinical and not recall based so yes the level of toughness is also going to increase so there are positives and negatives both to this exam but overall if we look at it it is good for the society and if it is good for the society we have to respect it i have seen many students saying that this is wrong and it should not happen foreign graduates should still be giving fmg exam let's pause for a second can we control that are we going to make legislations no right what is in our hands is studying to gain more knowledge and be better doctors so it is better if we just focus on that other than nabbing and creating a chaos and fuss about all these situations if you have any other doubts related to the next exam make sure to ask me in the comments down below and i'll be more than happy to help you with them and if you have any other questions related to mbbs in philippines or mbbs abroad you can ask them to me as well on my instagram handle or my mail id that are given in the description box below before i end this video I'll have to ask you to subscribe to the channel. Yes, I have been noting the analytics and majority of you are watching the content but not hitting the subscribe button. Show your anger on that subscribe button and make sure to hit the bell icon as well. Till next video.